All right, round number one here, and we're going to start it off with a spawn peak as Spoken hops out of the classroom window, and he's going to damage Ace to about 30 health now. Adept inside of Master will shoot the door open, and he's going to try to get a spawn kill of his own, but unfortunately for the champs, none of them will be able to pick up a kill here, and now Sledge outside of Big Window is going to be trying to push into the site. Adept, the only champ on site so far, will actually take out the Sledge player, Great shots from Adept, and now the other champ's going to rotate back to site to try to hold this down as well. As Now Saturn is very lit outside of Master. He's not even sure if Master is clear for him to take yet. The rest of our Copper players pushing downstairs, trying to make their way up through the Armory stairs now as Soapy's going to reinforce off those Attic head holes. Spoken with a C4 kill on the Warden. He'll grab a double kill now as he'll grab the headshot to Shadow and Iana goes down. It's all left to Glaz and Ace. Ace, who's on about 30 HP outside of Master Balcony right now. We'll be trying to drone in to see if it is clear, but oh no, a grenade from Skittles at the top of the stairs will take Spoken out. So it's a 2v2 now as the Coppers try to tie things up just a little bit further. Soapy and Adept going to rotate back on the site now. With a minute and 20 seconds, our coppers still have plenty of time to turn things around here. If our champs get a little bit too aggressive, a little bit too impatient, they could very easily lose this round. It's now the Leisure Mines are coming out from Soapy. The longer the coppers take, the more powerful Soapy's Leisure Mines are going to get. There is a minute left, though. Saturn does have an ace charge in his pocket. They've got a lot of options on the copper team. But, oh no, Glass swings and Adept is able to pick that kill up. It's all left to Ace, who hits a goo mind and a, a Malusi trap. The traps coming out from the champs are absolutely destroying our copper players here so far. I really like the traps, but an impact grenade from Sophie, who swings in from Trophy, will take Saturn out. The Ace player on low HP falls, and the champs win round number one. All right, Adept inside of main lobby is going to have to defend against a few copper players trying to push in through garage right now. The site is going to be downstairs in basement, so looks like I guess the coppers are trying to do some sort of a vertical take, take above. You can see we've got a lot of them gathering outside of garage, but Soapy's here as well to help out Adept, and they're going to be holding a crossfire on garage, trying to stop these copper players from pushing in any further. That's going to be Iyana who does a lot of damage on the Soapy after he impacts open the meeting wall as well as Mr. Saturn on the IQ. But Adept with a swing, IQ is leaning the wrong way and Adept will punish him for that, doing a lot of damage, but not quite able to take him out, at least not just yet. Soapy going to swing over to the main stairs and make it down to site himself. And now Skittles all the way back in bunker with his other two teammates, will grab the first kill for the Coppers of this round. Spoken goes down, and now it's a depth for in Soapy versus five. Saturn is lit, and the Coppers are doing a little bit of a split push here, so that may help the two champs a little bit, but we'll see. Soapy's going to go ahead and swing now. He does have Vigil, so he doesn't have to worry about that Lion Scanner so much, but Adept won't be so lucky, and the Brava Drone coming in from the Coppers Going to be a nuisance here for our champs as now they try to push in through Bunker. Poomsy will get taken out. Shadow is going to push in through the front side though, but the Diffuser is backside. So our two coppers in the front are going to have to find a way to get into Bunker and help their teammates retrieve the bomb or at least kill our final two champ players. As now Lion's going to rotate off to the tower stairs. Two players front side. One back, and now one playing above for the tower stairs. Shadow will go down. Soapy will grab that kill. Adept's looking to grab his own kill as Lion goes down. Two players down for the Coppers. It's a 2v2 now. The champs evening things out. Adept and Soapy looking to win this game. They want to move on to the next game. Mr. Saturn on the bottom of Laundry Stairs, holding his position strong while Skittles rotates to the back, trying to make a play bunker side. But with only 30 seconds... They're going to have to do it soon. Saturn hearing Glass shoot. That's the key for him to push in. And now 20 seconds remaining. Adept's got front side. Soapy's got back side. But does Soapy have the back side? As Skittles will take him down. Adept has his front side. But now it's a 1v1. Skittles on low HP. Or about half HP. But he does have the diffuser. He's going to try to 
possibly fake plant inside of the site. He gets off at the last second, but Adept with a flick will take him out in the champs 2-0. All right, our champ player is going downstairs. The site's going to be dining kitchen. Now we're going to see a lot of our coppers pushing outside of small tower, but we do have Skittles on the glass, going to be nading the kitchen door, possibly trying to push down through the green hall. So... Soapy's going to have to be careful about this. It looks like he knows that Glass is back here. So he's going to be trying to flank, but Glass rotates out the last second, not allowing him to do so. But Spoken will grab a kill off camera. He's going for another as Ash pushes in, but it'll be Adept who grabs that kill. Soapy inside of Green Hall now trying to fight the Glass, but the Glass will be the one to win the fight. 2v3 now as our champs are looking to bring themselves to match point. Of course, our coppers are wanting to stop that from happening, but... That being said, Shadow's going to be inside a meeting. He's going to be trying to meet up with his teammate, Glaz, inside of rear stage. And now, Sledge actually inside of Shower Hall at the moment. I'm not sure if Spoken knows this or not. He's going to throw in a zombie barrier towards the door anyways, just in case. But here we go. Shadow inside of sight. Glaz closely behind him now. And Sledge going to open up this wall into security. But does he know that Spoken's playing on this kitchen slash dining door here? Not sure if he does. He's going to have to take out his own zombie barrier to flank the sledge, though. No diffuser coming out from the copper players. So they won't actually be able to plant even with this site control. And this flank will be a big problem for the copper players as Spoken somehow getting both of those kills. And wow, the third one tap coming out from Spoken. Our champ player is absolutely destroying the coppers here. Ooh, a kill from Spoken will take out Warden as he tries to spawn peek on the main master door there. The champs absolutely punishing the coppers for any mistakes they've been making here so far. But Adept going to be rushing inside of the building. He's already on the bottom of Armory stairs, but he needs to be careful as we do have Shadow playing just inside of Armory. Adept's going to run up to the top of the stairs. Seeing that the door is barricaded, he's probably going to think that armory is clear but he'd be very very wrong he turns around thinking he heard something but will ignore it and solus will punish him for that soapy going to come in through the bottom of main stairs trying to potentially refrag soapy now as spoken will actually be doing the refragging as he grabs a kill on a saturn soapy with the kill of his own two kills from our champs now making things a 2v2 and it's match point. They want to win this round here. They don't want to give the coppers even one round. So we're going to take a lot of damage from that smoke grenade. But Spoken with the kill from the breach. Now he's going to hop into sight. Smoke will be the one to take him out though. It's a 1v1 between Soapy and Skittles. Champ player versus a copper player. Who will take the win here? Soapy is on about 40 HP. But he does have a grenade. He could use that onto the Skittles player. But... Won't matter as Soapy flicks onto the attic door and grabs the kill onto Skittles. Smoke player goes down and the Coppers win against, or the champions win against the Coppers 4-0. We're going to move on to our next game versus the Silvers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here with map number two. And the champs have decided to play on Chalet here. So we're going to see how our Silvers do against the three champs. Will they be able to take down the champ players. I don't think so, but we'll see exactly what happens here. So if we're going to be finishing up some last second site setup and SSG is all the way inside a big garage and he's going to actually not damage Adept at all somehow. It feels like those shots did not register Adept escaping with full HP somehow. The ace player still in big garage trying to make some plays there while, wow, the other hard breacher, Thermite, has already opened up Snowmobile Garage, and Osa is in with the shield. Adept going to be taken out as SSG will hit the shots this time, but so our Spoken will refrag as Ash goes down. SSG continuing to try to open those walls, but he'll get taken out as Spoken pushes up into the hallway. Twitch with the DMR will instantly refrag, leaving Soapy in a 1v3. He'll damage Twitch inside a big garage, but now osa and thermite are pushing into connector they could easily actually they cannot easily go for a plan here as twitch has the bomb over on her side of the map so this is actually really good for soapy is all he needs to do is stay in this position and stop twitch from pushing up with the diffuser but the flashbangs coming out from thermite will 
force Soapy to push back and he'll swing and take Soapy out. The silver player is winning round number one. All right, round number two. And look at this adaption from the champ players. That's what they're going to have on their side is their ability to adapt to exactly what the silver players are doing. The silvers, not as experienced as the champ players and not as skillful, will not be able to do that as well. So now the silver player is looking to do the same push that they did last round, but it's not working for them so far as the champs have adapted to hold big garage. And we'll see that Soapy's going to pick up the first kill of this push from the silver players taking out the knock and adept is above with a lot of holes in the floor able to hold down the push in through big garage and well it looks like twitch is going to rotate upstairs outside of the trophy window droning out adept but adept's going to drop going into the little connector room inside a garage but off screen spoken will grab a kill to the thermite outside of main breach is osa almost on half hp it looks like spoken might have damaged her as well going to be trying to hold down the four outside of the breach well adept makes his way back to the site or potentially above for a flank. Osa will walk in with the shield, but somehow Spoken was able to see the Osa's foot and take her out, and Adept above will grab a kill, but Spoken with a final kill and a flawless round from the champ players. This is what we were expecting. All right, round number three. Adept's going to be trying to start it off with a spawn peek through the big window, but he won't be successful, at least not just yet. SSG on the glass outside in spawn will get taken out adept finding that spawn peak finally and now blackbeard pushing up to the piano window he's going to try to swing and he'll do a lot of damage on Dispoken, who is attempting to throw a c4 onto his position he's going to rotate and try to wall bank through the bathroom window but will miss and wow blackbeard now getting taken out as adept rotates up to the top blue stairs window and he's able to grab two kills now going for three but Knock will finally put an end to his rampage. And now it's going to be Soapy and Spoken against the final two silvers, or really the final two silvers against our two champs. Is it's going to be a significant challenge for our two silver players here to try to win this round. Champs wanting to take the lead here and get closer to that match point. So they're going to be doing their best to lock this out now. And the silver players are actually starting to split up and i don't know if that's going to be a good thing as that's going to give the champs 1v1s and you see spoken he's going to win that 1v1 he'll take out the knock player and well now it's all up to sledge top mezzanine 80 percent hp spoken he doesn't have the hp but he does have the game sense and the aim to win this gunfight here sledge going to back off a little bit as lesion swings the head holes that's soapy Sludge goes down, and the champs now leading 2-1. They're going to be on attack. All right, round number four, and this will be the first round for the champs on attack here in Chalet. We're going to watch and see how they decide to push. The Silvers are playing downstairs in the basement site, and it looks like Fenrir going to find Adept, put him down to about 5 HP, but Adept will find the headshot, and Fenrir is down no, no longer able to activate his Fenrir gadgets. Now the wall is going to be opened up inside of sight. That's going to be a big problem for the Silvers. But we do see Wamai well, actually on the West Main Stairs. Possibly able to flank. And Legion's here on the breach. Able to kind of hold a crossfire with them of sorts. But now Adept all the way back in Big Garage. Is alone at the moment. Soapy flanking. On the West Main Stairs, he might find the Wamai player. He will. He grabs that kill. Refragging is Wamai was able to take out Adept, who was on such low HP. So now it's going to be Spoken and Soapy up against three Silvers. But, oh no, Bandit above and Bar will take Soapy out. And now it's all left to Spoken, who will damage Doc quite a bit. But here comes Bandit on the flank. He's lost. Where is he looking? He'll get taken out. And now... Doc healing himself back up from that damage will reswing. Spoken not able to heal himself back up. And well, we'll see how that will go for him. Doc able to pick up that kill. The champs no longer in the lead. The silver is tying things up two to two. We got a close game here. All right, our three champs in round number five trying to retake the lead here. They really need to win this round as whoever wins this round will control match point. And that is very, very important in Siege. 
Omai at the top of mezzanine right now, trying to defend against this three man push into library from the champs. But wow, the wall bank from Adept will take the Omai player out. How tragic. And we're going to look and see what the other silvers are doing in sight. It looks like they're all focused around piano right now. And that could be a good thing here is all of the champs are pushing piano door. Doc going to take a little bit of damage, or excuse me, Doc going to do a little bit of damage onto Adept, who's now going to be trying to open up the office wall. But the jammer on the wall going to slow him down. But off screen, Soapy able to grab a kill, taking out Fenrir. Ash trying to open up this wall into the site, seeing if she can Ash charge the jammer off to allow Adept to open up this site wall. But Soapy grabbing a kill. Azami instantly refragging, putting things into a 2v2. Azami is pretty low. Adept has taken a little bit of damage as well, but definitely not as much as the Azami player yet. So our two champs definitely in the lead in that regard now. Adept going to go below. Sick and tired of this jammer. Will finally bulk open the floor and take out that jammer. The wall being opened now. Mute forced to fall back from his previous position, hiding on the office door. And we see a zombie behind her uh, zombie barricades inside a piano. But Spoken right now has already ran all the way up Astro's or Solar Stairs. And he's now going to grab that kill onto Mute, the last remaining silver player behind the piano right now. He'll actually grab the kill to Spoken. He's going for the second, but he won't grab it. Adept will grab the final kill. The silver players will lose. And the champs now controlling match point. All right, a spawn peak coming out from the silvers. That's the rook player going down. A spoken is able to take him out. Great shots from our champ player now. And Soapy, as well as Adept, going to be pushing upstairs library size. It looks like Spoken's going to be joining them, pushing up from library stairs right now. Another library take coming out from the champs, but this time. SSG as Echo is going to be here with some reinforcements as well as his Echo drones to try to stop this push. But will it be enough? He'll take a lot of damage. He'll do a little damage onto Ash, but there's Spoken on the blue stairs able to take him out. And now Fenrir are going to push up on these head holes and potentially try to contest Spoken here. But there's the swing from Spoken who will take the Fenrir out. And now it's all left to two silver players. Sledge going to make that one as Soapy pushes in and takes out Valk. It's all left to mute on the bathroom door. He'll damage Spoken. He'll actually kill Spoken. The shotgun comes out, but Adept with the pistol prone on the floor will take out the last remaining silver player. And that's going to be GG's. We're going to move on to golds. All right. Flair going to start the gold game off with an Amara rush into mining, but he's going to have to be careful as... Soapy is here on the bottom of white stairs and as Flair pushes up to try to take white You'll notice that Soapy is running up the stairs and Surely Soapy knows that Amaro was on white. I don't think I don't think that Soapy heard the Amaro He's gonna be watching the stairs regardless now and taking a look at our other chance We've got Adept inside of cigar shop or cigar lounge trying to hold down this area But Soapy finally able to take out Amaru who's Creeping up through the white stairs. And now, Iana, along with Knock below, potentially trying to throw some nades up. I'm not really sure what they're doing down here. But they're going to be... Yep, here. Here are some nades going up. This could be bad for Spoken, who's below. He'll narrowly miss that grenade, and he'll grab a kill onto Proxy. Refragging his Proxy. The Sledge player was able to take out Adept. So now it's a 2v3. We're going to have... The knock rotate up through white stairs and get taken out. Spoken will grab that kill. Soapy alone inside of Cigar Lounge versus the last two gold players. He's going to swing, but Iana will swing as well. But Iana goes down. The last remaining gold player on the cigar balcony right now. Spoken is holding his push down into sight. And Soapy's making sure he can't go deeper into Cigar Shop. So our two champs working together perfectly here to stop, or at least try and stop. The Ash player for pushing it any further, but here we go. Ash gonna try to swing in and he'll actually down spoken. I'm not sure if he realizes this or, or not, but Soapy now gonna be forced to 1v1 clutch this. Both players on low HP. But here we go. Soapy with the swing will take Ash out, and our three champs will win 
round number one here against the golds all right with the champs winning the previous round they're now going to be forced to go downstairs and we're going to see how this golds react to that adept upstairs able to take proxy out the sledge player not having a fun time here he's going to get taken out within 15 seconds of the round starting definitely not how you want to start round two and you can see he's definitely mad about it in the chat and now here we go interesting claymore this is not going to work like he thinks it is but all right we'll see soapy inside of bakery right now trying to defend against the push in here from the gold players yana is going to be cloning in finca with the boost and now the, the gold player is looking to push in but spoken inside of prep will actually be able to take out finca he's playing a very dangerous game holding an angle on a soft wall and he'll get punished down to one hp for doing so flair able to take him down to one health and He's looking to grab a kill here as Soapy swings, trying to get back into sight. And oh no, Soapy team killing Spoken. Why? Now it's a 2v3. I guess the champs are feeling confident here that they don't even need Spoken. And do they? As Soapy just grabbed another kill, making things a 2v2. Ace is pushing up towards the double door to sight. Jackal is here with him inside of Small Bake. And they don't know it, but they do have the B bombsite adept inside a bakery gonna damage Verda up on the jackal downing him with the c4 but ace is inside of sight and it looks like our champs don't know it soapy is a little bit skeptical of where the last player is he's going to be checking sight just in case but ace already deeper than adept was maybe thinking he was and now ace able to take adept out inside of kitchen it's all up to soapy He's going to swing a little bit of damage onto the ace through the wall now. Both players practically full HP. It is going to be a 1v1 as Jackal is still downed. 40 seconds on the clock. Ace does have the bomb in hand. He could just go behind him and plant on Bunker. We're going to see Soapy rotate towards Small Bake. He's going to finish off the Jackal player. He just wants to make sure that Ace isn't trying to rotate and res his teammate. Soapy does not want to play a 1v2. So he's going to stop that from happening taking out the jackal player but this is all time that ace could have spent planning which he didn't he's going to use his last 15 seconds seven seconds of them to plant as he gets that bomb down and wow he'll actually take soapy out with the swing onto prep window the golds take round number two and great push here from the ace player all right adept on cams here he's gonna be on this window that i so often love to spawn peek he's gonna be trying to find a kill onto one of the golds and he might do that right now ace goes down that also might be the diffuser so the golds are gonna have to make their way over to the front door and try to grab that bomb oxy though already inside the building above the site right now and oh no the hatch is soft he could easily drop and Push into freezer but adept on the front door here on bakery will grab another kill flair goes down no more osa for the golds and proxy's gonna drop the hatch and oh no spoken was not ready for that he's gonna take huge amounts of damage fortunately soapy's here to rotate back on site and heal him up the grenades from proxy going out they're going to miss though and the shots will miss from him as well but soapy's will not as he takes the sludge player down it's all left to Fuse and Zofia now. Both players going to be above trying to play vertical and get some frags here into the site. But Adept is maybe wanting to rotate up through these red stairs, potentially trying to be aggressive. But oh no, what is this? A cluster charge from the Fuse will take Spoken out. Even after he got docked, he was still dead to the cluster charge. That is unfortunate. Sure. I'm sure Ferda is feeling good after that one. The hatch is open. A minute and 30 seconds left. They're able to get a free pick with the cluster charge. And now they're potentially going to be trying to push down these white stairs here. They've got plenty of time to do whatever it is they would like to do. Soapy and Adept holding either end of the site. And it looks like we might have a 1v1 and a 1v1 here. Ferda versus Soapy and Adept versus WC on the Zofia. We'll see what's going to happen here. Adept taking damage. 
But Zofia on one HP now. And oh no, Ferda will lose his gunfight. But Soapy will not. He grabs that kill. And that'll be the fuse going down. It's all left to the Zofia on one HP. I bet he wishes he was able to get dock stemmed back up to full HP like Adept was just able to do. And now WC rotating in towards Whiskey Bar. 30 seconds left on the clock against two champs who are full HP. It does not look good for him whatsoever. He's trying to find this kill onto Adept, who's inside a small big. The pre-fires from both players are missing so far. Who's going to find the kill? WC able to take Adept back down to about half HP. But with only 15 seconds left, he needs to make a move quick. There is a rotate into the freezer wall, but Soapy is just playing on the freezer window, and he'll be able to stop the jump in. Soapy gets the kill, and the champs win. All right, Adept's going to push up outside a garage, and he's going to find the feet of Flair underneath the door and take him out. The Leisha player going down, and now Adept going to be trying to rotate up to the roof to meet up with his team, who is on the skylight and opening up these red hatches at the moment. Two minutes left. The champs have plenty of time to make a push, but the Mute is going to jam their drones out and stall their push for just a little bit further. Proxy jumping out of the window downstairs, actually getting a little bit aggressive. We'll rotate back towards white stairs now as Soapy drops the red hatch, trying to find a kill into Cigar Shop, and he's going to find WC. At least he will in a second as he swings the door, and WC is able to win that gunfight somehow, but he will be on left. He will be left on low HP. That's going to leave Spoken and Adept in a 2v4 now with a minute and 30 seconds left. Spoken's going to grab a kill. Proxy goes down, but... Ferda able to refrag Adept now getting taken out and it's all left to Spoken in the 1v3 as everyone is swarming him on the red stairs. He's going to rotate down to try to escape a minute left. He's got plenty of time to figure out a new plan of attack here, but we'll see what he decides to do right now. The Mozzie player is going to drop and he'll get taken out. Spoken able to bring things to a 1v2. Now he's going to rotate towards the white stairs, but... We're going to have Ferda on the Frost right behind the shield, able to watch the top of White Stairs. Spoke is going to be forced to use his impact, but finally able to destroy that shield. But the Mute's going to rotate up to try to help fortify this position on the White Stairs. Ferda's rotated back towards the bar. 35 seconds left. Spoken's forced to push up and take a gunfight. He's going to take the gunfight with the Frost. He's low HP. Ferda's going to rotate behind the bar and take cover. 25 seconds left. Our champ's going to push in and decide to vault the bar for some reason. And Ferda will take him out. Spoken goes down and the golds tie things up two to two now. Soapy trying to make it out of spawn right now. As the Mozzie player is spawn peeking inside of Cigar Lounge. He's not going to find a kill just yet though. Adept also making it out of spawn. They're going to have to find a way to push downstairs in kitchen though this site is a very solid site and the golds with five players have a whole lot more utility than our three champs so it'll be interesting to see how they push this a c4 potentially coming out from mozzie he's gonna throw that right in the direction of the champs and wow look at that c4 soapy and adept go down that is an impressive c4 coming out from a gold player of all people here spoken now left in a 1v5 can he clutch this out or are the golds taking us to match point what an impressive c4 that potentially just lost the champs the entire game and the rest of the video here we'll see what happens spoken setting up his shield expecting the gold players to start swinging him from all directions he's going to be hiding behind this shield hoping that everyone starts swinging so he's able to take some free gunfights here but the golds are playing it mostly safe we do have proxy trying to swing right now inside a bakery and we'll see if he's able to grab this kill spoken pushing further back behind this car no one able to find a kill just yet but here we go spoken he's picking things up now with two big kills jaeger and alibi go down fortunately Ferda on the Kate is still holding the site, but oh my god, look at this. Flair going upstairs as smoke, trying to throw smoke grenades outside. That is just so unbelievable. Spoken finally taking some map control, pushing into a bakery. 50 seconds left. He's got to be a little bit quicker about how he wants to take this as time is running out very quickly. And 
He still has three kills to find. And Smoke now has one more smoke grenade. Smoke and finally able to find this kill into the Mozzie player. And now it's all up to Flare and Ferda. Flare actually running out of smoke grenades now. But Ferda does have a C4 in his pocket that he could use to deny the plant here from Spoken, but the headshot from Spoken will take Ferda out. No more C4 is going to be possible, and Spoken's going for this 1v5. He just needs to get one more, and he'll grab it, and Ace, a 1v5 Ace clutch of all things, onto the golds. Wow, very impressive here coming out from Spoken. I really thought that C4 might have ruined things for the champs in that round, but Spoken really picked things up. By the way, if you guys have made it this far in the video, consider subscribing, turn on post notifications, and if you guys are this far in the video like it make sure you comment down below any other video suggestions that you guys have and if you want to come play ranked with me tonight join six shot academy with the link in the description all right adept ash rushing in through garage right now we'll be taking some map control very swiftly here as our other two champs are gathering outside of bakery it looks like they might be trying to make some noise so that adept is able to sneak in from behind and pick up some free kills I like the strategy here taking a look at the gold players a lot of them on site but we do have players like vigil and mozzie roaming and another c4 comes out but this time no double kill for mozzie adept still inside by whiskey bar right now going up brown stairs trying to find just any kill that he can he's going to hear this impact that just went off from proxy who's trying to open up an angle into prep right now and this could be a very free kill here for Ash, but he's going to find the Mozzie player first who rotates down the brown stairs, but not before catching a few bullets from the R4C, putting him down to about 20 HP. But the vigil above on the prep holes will take Spoken out, and that is not good. Adept has to go up here and refrag now. Proxy, fortunately for Adept, is not paying attention, and Adept is able to grab that kill, refragging for the champ, but now it's still a 2v4. They really don't have any good man count here whatsoever. But Adept is looking to change that as he drops. He'll pick up one kill onto the Alibi. But Doc on 1 HP will finish him off. And Soapy now pushing into the site deep by prep window. Trying to finish the Doc off. And he'll be able to do that. But Ferda will refrag on the Capkin. And the champs go down. The golds tie things up 3-3. Three to three. All right, our champs are making it to the roof right now, and they're all gathering around the skylight. It looks like we might see some sort of a skylight rush here coming out. I'm interested to see what their plan of attack is. A lot of grenades coming out, but they are going to miss, and Adept now going to get these hatches open as our champs rotate to try to take top red, and they're going to see that there's a jammer there. They're going to have to take that out, as well as that Mozzie, which claims one of their drones, and... The wall to Piano is actually soft, so Sludge will be able to walk in and take that, and he's going to throw a drone towards where the Fenrir is playing, and little does he know, the Fenrir is actually playing there. He could have easily died, but Fenrir are making the mistake of rotating back. Adept will punish him for it, and now Soapy trying to drone up the site while Spoken and Adept push up further into Cigar Lounge. Soapy trying to take top uh, Cigar Shop right now. One minute and 10 seconds left. So the champs have used a fair amount of their time so far, to be fair. Azami able to do a little bit of damage onto two of our champ players inside of Cigar Shop now. As she's going to be playing on the cocktail balcony. Flare goes down. Spoken able to grab that kill as he pushes up through the white hall. He's aiming to get another one and he will. He's going for three now. Azami swings and Adept will, or excuse me, Spoken will grab that kill. Adept with another one. But WC inside a freezer will grab two kills but spoken is able to refrag and that, that was getting scary there the mozzie player able to take out two of the champs yet again but fortunately spoken there to refrag and the champs are taking match point like scared the shit out of me i didn't know you ordered food for you, what, for you to get me anything? So? Huh? I'm not fine, I'm bulky. I'm bulky. I've only eaten three muffins. Two Dude, sloppy you've joes. Had three muffins. Two sloppy joes. Um. 
two protein shakes, half of a muckbucker. I'm putting all of this in the video. That's a little fat as shit. What? No, I'm bulking. Oh shit! Listen, calories in, right? Calories out. That's all that matters, right? I mean, nope. Don't say I mean. So long as that's all you say, nothing else matters. It's it's once you start talking about other shit that you start bringing other shit into it. I mean, like the pop tart that you played last. Don't talk those uh, those. You know those were banned. They don't even bring those into the equation. <laughs> That's a banned food item. <laughs> those are banned. All right, Adept going for a spawn peek here on the White Hall, but he's gonna get droned out, so he's gonna fall off of that. And now our golds are gonna be forced to find a way to attack as. Our champs are now back on defense. It is a match point for the champs. Defense is the preferred side to be on here on Cafe. So they've got everything going for them, except for, of course, the man count. But Adept will be trying to change that as he lights up Proxy inside of the Christmas Market spawn. Proxy trying to potentially take Adept out, but it's not going to happen. Adept will grab that kill, bringing things closer to an even 3v3, but will still remain a 3v4 for now as Nog is already in the building and potentially trying to push towards White Stairs right now, which is exactly where Spoken is playing, just on the bottom of White. Proto on the Nog, sitting directly inside of Fireplace right now, and off screen, Spoken able to grab a kill onto Proxy. Ace rotating in through Garage right now, potentially trying to meet up with Ferda on the Nog, who's going for a grenade from underneath. I don't think he'll be able to find a kill. It will surely miss. And now, Ace inside of Garage, a little bit lost, I think, as he is nowhere near where he should be for this push, in my opinion. But I guess the wall to Cigar is actually soft, so it doesn't matter. Nock trying to solo push up White Stairs, but Soapy's there to take him out and punish him for doing so. And, well, hold on a minute, WC is already underneath New Hatch, and I don't think any of our champs know about this. He's able to crouch into sight, but... Here we go. Soapy inside of Cigar Lounge, able to take him out through those floor holes. It's spoken with the last kill. A flawless round from the champ players, and we're going on to the plats. All right, the bomb site will be upstairs here on Villa. We've got our three champs starting on attack this time on Villa against five plats. Wish them the best of luck, and, and make sure if you guys haven't already followed these champs, make sure you guys do that. Their links will be down below in the description. They've already made it to plats. Most people in these videos, they honestly lose to gold. So these guys are already doing better than most people would be doing this challenge. But with that being said, they're going to have to still take the rest of this map control and successfully win this game here if they'd like to move on to the Emerald players. Soapy. Pushing in, landing right now, making his way over towards Skull Door, trying to push into maps right now. And he'll actually be taking a gunfight with the Aruni who's swinging on the maps table right now. But Schleim running up the red stairs could be a problem for the champs. He will be. He'll take out Sledge and Kate off camera will take out Soapy. So it's all left to Spoken. Round number one of our three champs versus five plats. And well, so far. It's not going too good for them. Spoken's gonna crouch walk up into landing right now. The diffuser is downed in 90 hall. And Cade is there to hold it right now. And oh wow, look at this aggressive push from Icemaker. He's got the shotgun, but Spoken will grab one kill. And now two, he's gonna try to make it three. Eclipse in 90 hall with the diffuser. Good swing and give the third kill to Spoken here. Spoken, who is now on about 50 HP, rotating downstairs. Trying to potentially find a different way to push. Maybe even going up the red stairs here. As he felt that was a little bit safer. 35 seconds left. And oh no. The Aruni inside of Aviator will take out Spoken. And the Platts win pretty decisively on round number one. Alright. Interestingly, Adept will be picking up the Gridlock LMG. All three of our champs. Our youngest champion trio. Going to be pushing outside of Study Balcony right now. Spoken quick peeking a lot, trying to clear into Study. 
So we're going to be Iana cloning out to ensure that the map is clear. And you're going to see Adept and Spoken trying to take that map control now. Two minutes left. They got plenty of time to pull off whatever attack they want to do. And honestly, taking a look at the plot players, they're not really holding it down in the site too well. They do have a few roamers. They've got Schleim below on the pulse. Now, this could be a big problem for the champs. And I think that Spoken hears that pulse is below. We're going to see him Z-ping. And he's going to be pushing all the way down basement, looking for where Pulse is. But he's still inside a memo, safely waiting for the rest of the champs to push up. And, well, that's exactly what they're doing is they're going to be trying to push up on the bottom of Red Stairs as well. Schleim forced off of his Pulse Scanner now as Adept pushes up closer. Gridlock off, gridlocking his flank off. But Soapy will finally grab that kill. The Pulse goes down. Spoken with another Eclipse going down. The Valken Pulse are no longer for the Plats. And three remaining. The Champs making things in even 3v3. Gridlock will walk in. Cade goes down. Adept with a good headshot. He's going to plan now as Spoken is covering onto the Deer Door. Soapy making sure no one swings Adept from Statue. The Plant will get down now. Ice Maker going to do a lot of damage onto Spoken through the wall. But he's going to push up and grab that kill. And now it's all left to the Aruni inside a Master, but Soapy will take him out, and it's a flawless round from the champ players on round number two. All right, Spoken already inside of the building. He's going to have to be careful as Ice Maker is downstairs on the bottom of Astro Stairs. He could potentially flank as Spoken is below on his IQ gadget, trying to find any utility that he could potentially destroy through the floor. But oh no, look at this. Cav... Or excuse me, that was actually Ella getting spotted out inside of 90 Hall. Adept, or excuse me, Soapy barely missing that wall bang into 90. As we see, Adept is constantly droning out the Ella player. Soapy will be able to push up and grab that kill. But Ice Maker now rotating up onto the double door here. Will actually down Soapy. Adept is coming up though to guard him. He'll find that first kill. But the Cav comes in and she's got two down champs in front of her. Chooses not to interrogate for some reason, definitely should have interrogated there. Now, Spoken's going to be in sight, and our three plat players have no idea. But the thing is, is that Spoken does not have the diffuser, so he's going to have to push straight into these three plats if they want. If Spoken wants to grab the diffuser, he'll grab one, lights up the Capkin, putting him down to about one HP, finally able to take him out, and now it's all left to the Cav player. She's got the SMG in hand. Going to be trying to play on this trophy door at the moment. Spoken going to drone him out. Getting off cams now. Pre-firing to ensure he doesn't swing in. The bomb is still down. Over by Aviator Door. And Cav pushing up. Trying to watch this door. Two good guns in her hand. But it's not going to matter. Because Spoken's got the aim to take Eclipse out. And the Platts lose yet another round. And the Champs now winning 2-1. to one. All right, the champs on defense for the first time here on Villa. And wow, Spoken going to start the round off with a huge 1D spawn peak taking out Osa. And now the Platts have one less player to work with. Iana repelled currently on the study bow, trying to pre-fire in to take out Spoken, but none of the shots will hit for now. Eclipse is actually running the Blitz right now, and it looks like he's solo at the moment on the bottom of main stairs. And I think he's going to be trying to solo push up main stairs. And he's going to be running into Soapy, who's at the top of main. Adept opening up this laundry door, potentially trying to run out. But off camera, Ice Maker will grab the first kill for the Plats onto Spoken. The zombie player goes down. Soapy going to heal himself back up as he takes a little bit of damage from these head holes. And now Eclipse making sure he clears out map control below. IQ Schleim there with him. And they're going to be trying to take main stairs now as Ice Maker is on the study balk, trying to hold off Soapy from swinging into study. But he'll instead grab the kill, or at least Yana will grab the kill, onto Adept. And now Soapy on his own versus four plots will grab one, downing the Yana as well. He's reloading his Tim Pistol, trying to heal back up. He'll be able to do so. He'll grab another kill. So the final player remaining for the plots is going to be Eclipse on this Blitz. Soapy rotating inside of study. He's not sure where the final player is, but sounds like he might. Looks like he might hear him now. 
Soapy will swing as the Blitz pushes into study. This is so unfortunate. If you're Soapy, the shots will come out from the Blitz player, but Soapy somehow is able to win the round blind. How is he able to win this still? All right, Eclipse, one of our plot players, is going to crouch walk in through Art, and he's going to be pushing up towards bottom main stairs right now. He might run into Adept, who's downstairs on the bottom of red right now, trying to make his way back towards site, but Lion going to put a halt to that with that scan. And he's inside a piano right now, very close to where Adept was just playing. But Adept making it back onto site now. That the line scan is over. We're going to have Eclipse rotate in through 90 Hall. And this could be problematic as Adept is pushing back in towards landing. And if he doesn't check 90, he could get taken out here as Eclipse is pushing up. But it'll be Eclipse, the one who doesn't check his corners. And Adept will take him out, punishing him for that. The line scan will hit. And Lion seems to be trying to get a kill through these ho floor holes in the floor there. But Adept on the red stairs will take him out. Adept now with two big kills, evening things out for the champs to a 3v3. Taking a look at our other plat players. Ash is all the way in the basement right now. Ice Maker on the sledge is down below. Along with Slime, it looks like they're trying to retrieve the diffuser. But Ash now rotating to the bottom of Astro's stairs. Spoken. We'll hear this and impact open the hatch to try to scare the ash off which will successfully work and now all three of the plat players gathering together to try to get this bomb but spoken realizing what's happening will rotate downstairs trying to get in on some of this action and he will as he grabs a kill adept grabs another as well and now spoken going to fall as the yana takes him out but adept able to instantly refrag and wow this was easier than the gold game the champs now going to win 4-1 against the Plats, and we move on to the Emeralds. All right, Adept here on border against our Emeralds, already trying to go for some spawn peaks, and he'll put Finca onto low HP. She's going to have to boost up to try to gain some more HP now, but definitely not a great start for our Emerald players here whatsoever. Taking a look, we've got Iana underneath trying to nade where that default shield may be but taking a look at our other champ players they're not even really playing on site they're playing hyper aggressive trying to swing everything and oh no Adept's gonna have to be careful as Osa and Glaz are repelled outside of the East Stairs balcony and he was just previously being very aggressive on the top of East Stairs so I'll have to be careful there a swing from the Capital on the vent stairs will not do any damage to Soapy but the fire that he put onto his location will and oh no soapy swings a glass and glass is there to take him out this is not good for the champs here in only just a minute the emeralds are gonna win round number one flawlessly as well unbelievable all right it looks like our champs have gone down to bathroom tellers and adept is back on the top of east looking to go for another spawn peak he's gonna shoot the window open but the shots will miss out onto the valley spawn and Sledge going to rotate up to the break room door, trying to swing into break to potentially get the kill onto Adept. But Adept will be the one getting the kill. Zed goes down. No more glass for the Emeralds. And we saw that Soapy died to the glass last round. So hopefully that's able to help the champs possibly win another round here. Could take a look at the Capital all the way back holding this pixel angle. Unbelievable that he's holding this angle in a 5v3. Or I guess now a 4v3. As Adept was able to get one kill. Now it looks like the Buck player will be pushing outside of Passport right now. Pretty slow round here so far. Adept inside of Customs holding down this CCTV hatch. We do have Sludge above. He could have opened that and he could push it if he would like to. But we're going to have him as well as Yana push upstairs on East. And it looks like the Emeralds are wanting to do a B Teller's push. We still have the Capital outside of the Teller's window, and we've got Sledge as well as Yana pushing above. Here come the grenades from Sledge, but that will miss. Spoken on the Fenrir, trying to hold down that Teller's window. A minute and 20 seconds left. The champs have not really been challenged much at all, but as I say that, Soapy's going to take a huge amount of damage from the Sledge who's above. Spoken going to take a lot of damage as well from the Capital on the window. And now Adept finally getting another kill here, but he'll instantly get refragged. Two kills coming out from the Emerald players as Capital gets one as well, leaving Soapy in a 1v3 on 1 HP. Only a minute left. 
actually plenty of time in this specific situation but oh no capital not able to switch weapons fast enough he's got two people down to the frost trap he'll finish one off iana is going to res the capital and now it's soapy verse two aimbots on low hp he's got the diffuser or excuse me iana has the diffuser and she's going to use that to plant aimbot placing down some claymores soapy realizing the situation going to be trying to push up right now he's inside of customs making his way back towards the site capital taking bathroom right now trying to hold this so that soapy's not able to push back in while we've got iana holding down the windows as well as the door into bathroom slash tellers the wall bank coming out from soapy as he realizes the iana player is playing close in the corner on the reinforcement grenades will miss soapy gonna walk in with the shotgun but iana will grab the headshot in two rounds now in a row from the emeralds they look very good here to take down the champs all right this will be the champs last round on defense at least for a while unless this game goes ot but we're gonna see if the champs can maybe finally win a round they definitely don't want to lose this as the emeralds will now be up 3-0 with match point meaning that the champs would have to win three straight rounds just to be tied with the emeralds but oh no adept running out making things harder for spoken and soapy as he'll get taken out Misty on the repel will finish him off, and Soapy's going to swing. He'll damage the Iana, but only a little bit now. Capital, or excuse me, Thatcher able to take a lot of damage from Spoken, who's playing on this armory wall. He'll throw his C4 out. It'll blow up. It'll take Zed out. That's the ace player. He's going for the Thatcher, who will also be taken out now. Soapy's inside of CC, trying to help flank and help Spoken, but... Unfortunately, the rest of the Emeralds are already over by the east side. One player will get taken out, but Ash will instantly refrag. Spoken goes down, and now it's a 1v2. Ash and Iana versus Soapy. Iana inside of Archives will take Soapy out, and the Emeralds now winning 3-0. All right, our three champs going to be on attack for the first time here on border, and they're down 0-3 match point. They're going to need to win three straight rounds if they want to bring this back, and Spoken's going to start the round off good with the kill on to Zed. The Warden goes down and now one less player for the champs to worry about. But there's still four more that they need to finish off if they want to bring this back now. Adept joining up through East Stairs as he's going to be wanting to push through there. But Spoken getting into a gunfight with Cade. He'll lose about half of his HP there, but it won't be as bad as Adept. will lose all of his HP. Misty on the Solus will finish him off and... Spoken's going to try to push up. Cade's going to run out. He's close on the door right now, but he'll get taken out as well. Misty on the Solus, rotating in towards break room, trying to refrag and take Spoken out, who's now on the window of CC. The Misty player goes down. No more Solus. And now it's Aimbot and Vix up against our two champ players. A wall bang from Vix will take Soapy out. He tries placing a Thermite on the soft wall. Why would he do that? They've got an Ash. Ash now going to Ash Charge open up the wall. Very poor decision making there from the champ players. Minute and 40 seconds left. And Spoken's going to have to take out the final two Emerald players if he wants to stay alive in this game. He'll find the first one. He only needs one more. He's on about less than half HP. Pushing in with the Diffuser. Aimbot's going to swing. But Spoken with the Ace will clutch it out. And fortunately, even despite all of the mistakes from the champ players... They were able to clutch things out just off pure mechanical skill. All right, our youngest champ trio is going to be pushing outside of the armory balcony right now. And they're going to be pinging out that there's a castle barricade on the armory door. But Soapy's playing Sledge, so he'll be able to easily open that up. But it looks like Spoken's going to be there to try to peek and try to get a gunfight. And he will. He'll win it as well. Castle goes down, but Zed instantly refrags the mute player inside of armory lockers put on to about 10 hp but will finish off soapy the c4 comes out taking out some drones but not doing any other damage to the champs but mute deciding to run out will die and well things are going to be a 2v3 now as adept goes to drone his ionic clone will get jammed and looks like our champs might make the dash just into the site the bomb site is downstairs actually so they have armory control but they'll need to get ventilation control or workshop control if they would like to plant they could potentially play vertical. Ash still does have two Ash charges in her pocket. So that is some vertical play that they could potentially do. Looking at our Emerald players, they're all mostly on site here. 
just trying to hold down and wait out the timer a minute and 25 seconds on that timer and these castle barricades going to ensure no one's able to flank the champ players which is honestly a good thing for them but it is going to lock them into this little area minute and 15 seconds our champs are going to need to quickly decide what their push is going to be is right now they're kind of split apart and they don't have a unified push made out just yet aimbot is on lesion playing inside a bathroom i'm unsure if he has a rotate into workshop but either way our champs are gonna have to clear him if they want to win this round but adept above will take out misty malusi going down spoken rotating inside of waiting room right now he's gonna have to go through aimbot if he wants to take into the site 40 seconds left adept droning out with his iana clone will spot out the dock player inside of workshop but aimbot close inside a bathroom Spoken's going to be trying to take him out. He'll swing into a Malusi, though, and Aimbot will be the one to clutch that out. Now, Adept versus two Emeralds. He's inside of sight. He's going to be forced to reload. Vix on the dock is swinging on top of this server room desk. He'll swing around, and Adept is not ready for it. And the Emeralds will 4-1 our youngest champion trio. Thank you so much to them for playing. Make sure you guys follow them. Their socials will be linked down below in the description. And while, you're, while you guys are down there, Make sure you like the video, subscribe, turn on post notifications as we do post daily here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.